Aha. This Marion Row Cemetery is uh, a Huguenot cemetery and where are buried uh, the uh, French Protestant refugees that reached, or some of them, that reached Ireland and Dublin in particular uh, at the end of the uh, 17th century. Amongst the, those that are buried here are a number from the 24 families that arrived in 1681, totally destitute in Dublin. And um, the, these people had fled a persecution which had started in the uh, provinces of Poitou. Well, some of them started to die immediately, actually. <laughs> uh, sorry, no, I should say that. They arrived in very bad shape and uh, they had survived the crossing which took them often directly, and it's very rare, into Irish ports from west of Western France ports. The names that one finds listed here uh, have rarely survived uh, because by the mid-18th century the very small population of refugees had more or less in married into English-speaking uh, com communities and Gradually, at the end of the 18th century and 19th century, the names, except of a few, such as Dubadal, uh, uh, were anglicized. Part of the integration of the Huguenots, in, uh, certainly the Huguenots in Dublin, uh, uh, was due to the fact that they very wisely knew how to invest their pensions on the rising a new London Stock Exchange. So they made a lot, some of them made a lot of money that way, and they were instrumentally setting up uh, some of the first banking, in association with Irish, uh, or Dublin people, uh, some of the first banking establishments here in Ireland in the 18th century. There were tensions uh, between the first wave of arrivals in significant we have arrived in 1670 and um, the apprentices, Dublin apprentices, because some of those arrivals were skilled uh, artisans and the Dublin apprentices um, uh, felt, perhaps rightly, that they were going to actually take uh, jobs away from them. Um, I'm not sure exactly when but I think in the 70s, late, mid 70s, late 70s, um, the Lord Lieutenant intervened to prevent a riot uh, which was being organized by the apprentices uh, against the French artisans that were just settled in Dublin. Apart from that incident, really, uh, there were not that many tensions, simply because uh, as emigres uh, in small numbers uh, they really wanted to keep themselves to themselves uh, if you are an emigre you should not rock, rock the boat at least not for the first two or three generations mm -hmm.